Hey guys, LEGO Star Wars 888 here, back with another LEGO Star Wars review. This time I'm doing a review on LEGO Star Wars set 8091, Republic Swamp Speeder. Contains 176 pieces, is a limited edition, and comes with 5 minifigures. I picked up this set from LEGO.com for 29.99, and it costs 3.95 to post it in the UK. So it's about £30 in the UK, like I said. Uh, I could always find it at LEGO.com. Bought it the other day just after Christmas. It only took like two or three days to arrive, but I'm being a bit late on doing the review. I think it's about thirty to thirty-five dollars in the US, maybe be a bit more, I don't know. But anyways, we'll start off with the minifigures. Like I said, you get five, so the first minifigure you get is a battle droid, just a regular battle droid, nothing special about him. Comes with um a blaster like so you can hold on to the new style ones see there so you get two of them just quickly show them both together you get two just standard battle droids then you get a battle droid which is the older version without the rocket launcher arm so we haven't seen one of them in quite some time since I think about 2007 something like that I think in all the other sets they've been like this Maybe the Separatist Spider Droid uh, set in Hailfire, no, the Spider Droid, no, Hailfire Droid and Spider, Dwarf Spider Droid, they might have had some like, one like this, but it hasn't been for a couple of years now, so it's for a standard battle droid without the rocket launcher arm. Now we get a Phase 2 Clone Trooper, but this time it's been redesigned slightly from how it used to be. I can't find a, a standard Phase 2 Clone Trooper like this, I can only find like ones that are like the shock trooper or you know clone pilot ones so you know you have to bear with me so comes with a new mouth design piece which is like made in the helmet i think that's different because before it used to be just open like it is there comes with just a black head underneath like always but it's got a newly designed torso it's like it's like being shaded in you could say from how it used to be on both sides on the back and the front, there's a close up at the back, there's the front again, and it comes with a sharp blaster. It's pretty cool since it's been revamped, shall we say, or redesigned. So that's him, so that's the fourth minifigure, and the last minifigure is uh, exclusive to the set, which makes it probably more rare than what it is, is because you get Barris Offy, or Barris Offy, I should say, it's like coffee but without the C. O double F double E, Baris Off, Offy. Yeah, she is the Padawan learner of Luminara and Dooley. So I thought I might as well, I best get this set, especially for because I want this minifigure because uh, out now is the Battle for Genosis, which comes with Luminara and Dooley. So I, I, when I get that, I'll have both Jedi Master and Padawan learner. So she comes with a cape, blue lightsaber with the new style chrome hilt sort of thing. And um, comes with a hood, as you can see, and the skin is sort of like, uh, you know, more of a lightish colour, peaches colour sort of thing. So it's pretty neat. Her uh, face is pretty cool, like design. And her arms are both obviously the same colour, peaches type sort of thing, like her head. So it's pretty different to a normal. Lego, Lego minifigures, which normally just have either a yellow head if they're older Lego style sets, or a flesh head if they're the new ones, which he's got like a more of a peaches tanned colour. And the torso is pretty good designed, I like that very much. It's got a belt buckle and everything on there, so she's pretty cool, Barris off, uh, Offy. So I'll just move the minifigures out of the way for now. Oh, you don't really need the battle droids. In this, because they, as you can see on the box, they just stood to one side, fighting against the swamp speeder. So we'll move on to the swamp speeder itself now. Seeing as we're like four and a half minutes into this review, the swamp speeder itself is pretty cool, and it's got spaces in the back for both the clone trooper and uh, Barris Offy to go on the back there. And you can you can also keep hold of his. Last three doesn't need to take that off. Just try and get him seated in there. 
bring the jam up just a little bit there. Oops, that's been. So there, there's the clone seated in there. And move them back a bit. There we go. So the clone sits on one side, and you can either put another clone next to him on the other side, or put uh, Barry Sophie in there. Two on the opposite side. There we go. So we get both of them in there, and they both have controls. Uh, it's pretty difficult for me to do, but I'll try and show you. And then they've both got controls. And if you can see, just in front of the club, you has got his uh, controls there. There's another control piece right here, and then one next to Barrett Opie on the opposite side. That's pretty cool. There's quite a few stickers in this set. I normally forget to mention about stickers. So there's uh, two on the like sort of turbine sort of thing. Like the power generator that makes it uh, skim along. There's two here. Uh, one there. And there might be a, another one somewhere else, but I can't remember. So, it's got about five or six stickers in the set. It's got four flick fire missiles, which are these bits here. And I'll try and close it down on the set so you can see it instead of being far away. So it's got four flick fire missiles, which are these two on either side. So it moves it. You can move them along. Plus it has underneath, it has wheels. You can see that there, four wheels, so it can roll along dead smoothly. You can make it turn round corners quite good. Those are the wheels and the technic pieces which make it do that. It's a pretty cool set. I mean, it's only 176 pieces, but it is a limited edition set. That's why it's £30 or thirty dollars something like that. I think it's thirty dollars, thirty five dollars. So it's well worth it. I know it's one hundred and six pieces for a thirty pound set or a thirty dollar set, whatever. But it's well worth it for the two new minifigures in the set, the new phase true phase two clone trooper and uh Padwan Learner Barris Oppie. Or Oppie, whatever. I call it Oppie. Barris Oppie. So if you want to get more Jedi for your Clone Wars army, I'd suggest buying this set. And if you want that new Phase 2 Clone Trooper, I'd buy it as well. Plus, you could always do with the extra droids. I know droids might be getting a bit annoying because you get a couple in most sets. Well, I like getting battle droids anyway, as an I thought. Seeing as Luminar and Dooley come out in the new, in the, well, it's out now in Battle for Geniuses, I thought I'd buy this set because, you know, uh, you can't have one without the other with Padawan without it. A Jedi Master, so I thought I'd buy this set and because of what I said, because of the mini figures and the set itself is pretty cool. I like the Swamp Speeder. Last time we got a Swamp Speeder was in 2005 in the 7260 Wookiee Catamaran, which actually came with Luminar and Dooley with a uh, light up lightsaber and uh, Master Yoda. With uh, it came with green clone troopers, which are called Swamp Troopers. It's a shame they weren't included in this set. They decided to put the new clone trooper in that, but yeah, it's 4K still, but I would have preferred the Swamp Speeder troopers. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. I can live with a new style clone trooper. Um, so, yeah, this this set was last seen five years ago and as part of the Wookiee Catamaran set, like I just said. So that's basically it for the set. It, like I said, it rolls along pretty good. It'll probably do it quite well along studs as well, like on a base plate, but I don't have one to show you. I just did my reviews on top of my bed, so you know, it goes smoothly. It can make it go around corners and that. You can by using the turbine on the back, it can turn around. And the, the, the missiles on the front turn as well, so you know, you're not facing forward by just going around the corner, so that they're always going in the direction that the swamp speed is going in. So, yeah, like I said. I'd definitely try and pick it up if you can. Lego.com is probably the best bet. I don't know if it's just a limited edition for 2010. If it is, today's the last day of 2010. Also, I'm uploading this video. It's the 31st of December 2010. So, I don't know if it's just a limited edition for 2010. Or if it'll be still on the website in 2011. I'll have to go and check out and buy it as soon as it can before it does sell out. Um, I don't know if it's available in Toys R Us or anything like that. But, you know. Lego.com is where I bought it and it got here pretty fast, only a couple of days, which took me a while for me to find the time to upload this video. So anyways, just before I end this review, I'll move on to the box. Quite a big box there. 
uh, just make the swap speed out of the way. So, like I said, big big box shows you super battle droid, two battle droids, swamp speeder, and then uh, Barris Oppy is there, and the uh, clone troopers there. That's the front of the box. On this side of the box, if you move back slightly, it shows you the same as what was on the front of the box. Pretty much say Lego.com and Star Wars Lego. No Star Wars.com, I should say. On, on this side, it shows you the same as the front, and it also says limited edition in different languages. Um, also, just a quick graph to the front of the box. There's a limited edition sign, so it's more rare than special edition, I think. It comes with the red brick, I'll show you that's a limited edition. On the top it shows of uh, Barris Oppy, right there. Let's go to the back of the box now. On the back shows you three of the sets from 2010, the, like, the start of 2010. Three full speeder, 8085, 8086 was the... Uh, uh, droid Tri Fighter, just try to think there, and the uh, last one was 8087, the Pi Defender. And then there's another view of the Swamp Speeder there. There's the clone, and then the Battle Droids, and Super Battle Droid against Barris Oppy. There's a, well, it shows you the wheels move along, you can twist the front like I showed you, and then it just shows you straight right from the back. Right there, there's the control, uh, controls you can see a bit better there. Try and move forward so you can see. There you go, so that's the box. But like I said, I definitely recommend you buy this box if you want more Jedi for your Jedi army for the Clone Wars or whatever else you're using on for the new clone trip. So like I said, highly recommend you go out and buy it if you can still find it, if it's on if it's in on Lego.com or Toys or something like that. I'd uh, probably tell you to go and buy it as soon as you can because it might not be there for much longer. So it's been me, Lego Star Wars AA8, doing a review on Lego Star Wars set 8091, Republic Swamp Speeder. Hope you have a good new, happy new year and see you in 2011. And bye for now.